So there's a lot of pressure on parents, right, to get the best kinds of toys. Yeah. We're told that we need to consider their brains and their mental capacity and the apps and the high tech stuff. But there's a new report that reveals the best toys for a children's development, a child's development, aren't flashy or expensive at all. In fact, according to the Council on Early Childhood, it's traditional toys like blocks, puzzles, balls that have the highest impact on things like language and even physical development. The best toys, ones that support quality interaction, encourage exploration, problem solving, and spark imagination. Think things like puppets, too. Also important, reading out loud and encouraging play. So we stopped by a local toy shop, Top 10 Toys, to get their take on this. The study that just came out essentially speaks to the whole motto of what you do here, which yeah. is what? Uh, toys for healthy play. Essentially, we have toys that but what I like to say is that you play with them as opposed to they play with you. A lot of the toys that we have and sell here, we choose out specifically, mm -hmm. not just to have because they're popular, but because we legitimately believe that they're fun toys that offer something to whoever's playing with them. And why is that, why is that so important? Because so, with parents, we are taught that, oh, there's the newest trendy thing and it's electronic and it that lights up. Why is that not necessarily important? Well, at the heart of it all, you if you want your kid to learn and grow to be healthy, you want to show them all that life has to offer. And play is kind of the fun of discovery. And if you're showing them a variety of toys and not just the flashy thing that everyone hears about, like they will learn so much more and they'll grow up to be very more fun loving, more appreciative people when it comes to that sort of thing. And you have some examples, I think. Oh yes, what, what like, do we have there are this? lots of fun little things that we have here. I will pretty much play with these all day, every day, <laughs> and show people like the fun of all these things. Like, do you want to try? Sure. <laughs> yeah, you put your hand Oh, in cool. It feels like a little massage, <laughs> too, which is one reason why I love playing with that. Just like the fact that you are trying and seeing and feeling these different toys, mm -hmm. like, it kind of gets like your brain going. It's like, what does this do? How does it do it? And like, that sort of discovery is real important for things like science and math and just learning about life in general and trying to be a more interesting <laughs> sort of person. And you were saying <laughs> earlier, before we started this conversation, that part of the reason kids love phones so much is that they're watching us. Yeah, like <laughs> kids, especially like younger ones, will copy and see what they are seeing. In that's just natural for them. It's part of how they learn. Like they have to, like when you're between the ages like two and six, a lot of that is pretend to play. And what do you pretend other than what you see? Like that's why kids like to push strollers around because they see their mom and like their dad doing that sort of thing. Why do they like this? Like a lot of kids really like garbage trucks. Well, they're like pretty gosh darn common when you're like living <laughs> around like Seattle, like garbage and recycling sort of things. So if you're showing them like that you're playing on the phone all the time, that's what they're gonna see. So mm -hmm. don't be afraid to even be as an adult to try and play because it's not just something for kids. Like you can learn a lot when you are a lot older. There's no harm in just seeing what inspires like a child or in many of my cases, some adults. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> I love it, thank you so much. <laughs> So if you text the keyword toy, we will link you back to the study that we're talking about as well as more information on top 10 toys and that number's on your screen there, 448-4545. But really just yeah. a good reminder, it's not just about the toy playing with you. So it doesn't need to be this high tech, keep your attention toy. It needs to be something that you can interact with your kid with and yeah. help I them. I feel so duped because when I first had my kids, the whole latest thing was to watch the baby Einstein videos yes. and let them watch that and now, you know, with the research that we have, it's like, uh, not so much. Well, we're constantly <laughs> learning, right? Yeah. Changing the way we do things. We are. What tr favorite traditional toy? I, I'm, I've been, my brain keeps going back to the Etch-a-Sketch. Oh, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, I was never very yeah. good at it, but I just know I always had one of those. Nice. And we're getting more text messages okay. on your favorite toys, which <laughs> we love. The Tupperware Blue and Red Shape Sorter. I don't know if I had that. Oh, I think I remember that. I'm yeah. Be Googling that. <laughs> oh, Barbie. Yeah, okay. my daughter's playing Fantasy. Barbie. I right gave now. my old dolls to my nieces, and it's so fun to see them play with such an iconic toy. Meg, thank you. Oh, Mr. Potato Head. <gasps> Duncan, you, you do know. remember Mr. Potato Head. Oh, of course. Of course. Oh, yes. Gosh. He was always missing a nose. That's the thing. They're always. always missing pieces, <laughs> right? Always a missing piece. Yeah. That's yeah. Good, good, yeah. good story. Flexible. Though. Yeah, I love it.